On this edition, I'm gonna help you get your iPad, your iPod Touch, or your iPhone up on your screen without an Apple TV. Plus, I'm gonna give you apps and ideas on how you can utilize this for your ministry. Welcome to another edition of Church Media Design TV Tips, Tricks, and How To For You, the Church Media Designer. I'm your host, Brad Zimmerman, and as always, I'm joined by my favorite bobble-headed friends. You got it right. We got Jamie and Adam from the Mythbusters. We got Pico, the Planning Center robot. We got Dwight Truth, the King of the Office, Little Whitey, the miniature version of me, and of course, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Lord Most High. Well, today we're going to talk about how to utilize some gear you already have in new and creative ways, as well as put an answer to a question that you may have gotten from a pastor or coworker who got an iPad, and then they bought an Apple TV, and they realized, oh my goodness, I can put my iPad on my TV set. This is amazing. Now, it is amazing, but then they come to you and say, I want to do this on Sunday morning, or I want to do this in my ministry area, and then you have to figure out how to make it happen. Now, this was a similar situation for us and I started thinking about it and the way our systems are set up is we just have a VGA cable running from our laptops to our screen we don't have any video switching in between so that means for me to do this setup I would have to go spend a hundred dollars on an Apple Apple TV and then I would actually have to buy cabling to run from the Apple TV to my projector and then we have to switch inputs on the projector and it's just not ideal. So I started doing some research and I found a couple different applications that will actually turn your PC or your Mac into an Apple TV like device. It will let you do um, mirroring as well as airplay video and audio to these different devices taking the Apple TV out of the picture. So let's check out the first one here is called Reflection. And as you can see, um, you know, you can put your phone up on your screen and it actually shows the phone itself as well as the interface, which changes out. And it has a couple different options. Now, this one's okay, but I found another one that I really liked and it's called Air Server. Now, Air Server is uh, really awesome. It's just like that other app, but it does a ton more. And so let's, uh, let's check it out in action. You can see that it does, you know, regular airplay where you send video or audio audio from your device to your TV set or your computer in this situation. You can also do full screen gaming. One of the big differences between reflection and airplay is when it goes full screen in reflection, it actually still shows the interface of your phone or like the body of your phone or the iPad, which is cool if you're doing like a screen cap for software and you want to show like this is what it looks like on the device. But for us, I want to go full screen with this and show it up on the projector. And I don't want to show the, the phone itself or show the iPad itself. I just want to show the screen. And that's what this one does so much better. Also, it actually can do side-by-side -side gaming, and we'll talk about that in a few minutes. But you can see in here they give you know ideas that you can use this for education or business, and then we can compare this and they show, you know, they compare Air Server to actually buying a full-on gaming system, but we can also compare it to the Apple TV itself. It costs $14.99, and you can see we can do like our processor speed is our computer processor speed, so it's not based on Apple's processor speed, as well as it shows you, you know, which devices you can do here, and it shows you that you can do some different video adjustments that you can't do on the Apple TV, and it has a bunch of other features that aren't available on the Apple TV, which is really, really great. So now let's take a look at how this actually works. Again, you can download this and the, I think the $15 version comes with five different installs. So you can install it on a bunch of different machines. So let's take a look at how this works. So the first thing we need to do is go down to our applications folder and then we need to find Air Server. And it kind of looks like the Apple TV icon. I'm just gonna click on that to launch the program and you'll see we have a new icon in our bar up here. I'm gonna click on that and let's look at the preferences. 
So in our preferences, you can see a few different things. We can actually name what our computer is. We can put in a password. So if we don't want, you know, random people from the audience taking over and throwing this up there, we can put a password on it, which is a really good idea. We also have audio options of like, where is this audio outputting from? So do we want the default? We can use other audio outputs. And then we actually have display options as well. So if we have two different displays hooked up, we can say, I want this to be my projector and not my computer screen. And then we have some mirroring options and we can say, what do we want to optimize this for? And we can do any device and then you can also, you know, say if I have a slow network or if you want to use the built-in FaceTime HD camera. So I have my iPad and I'm just going to double click the home button. Then I'm going to scroll over and you'll see a little icon that looks very similar to the air server icon. I'm going to click on that. Then I'm just going to click water Mac. And then if I flip on mirroring, and once I do that, you'll see over here on this screen that our uh, computer shows up or our iPad shows up. And I can just uh, pull this back and now you can see we can scroll through the interface and we can bring up apps and do all sorts of fun stuff with them. So let's say, let's pull up Amazing Alex. You know, this is a, a new fun game that I've been playing lately. Um, and we can actually go full screen with this and it will present it in full screen. It's got a couple different scaling options here. So we can click on this scaling button and it's gonna, you know, fit the edges of the screen. There's also one that will kind of squash it to fit properly and then the normal looking one. The other thing we have is a little settings icon box here that we can go in and we can actually do some video post processing. So let's say we want to turn sharpening on and you'll see that we can sharpen up the image here and on the left you kind of see our final result. So we can say let's just sharpen this up just a little bit. And then maybe we want to mess around with the saturation and we can, you know, make it way more saturated. We could actually go in and like mess around with the hue and make it look really weird and stupid. Um, and you can also like flip this different directions. So if we wanted it to be the same direction or something like that. So it gives you some different post processing options that you have available. Not only can we go full screen, but we can also utilize apps that can use this screen and the output as two different devices. Now, one of these apps is Planning Center's, uh, as you can see from our little bobblehead guy here, Planning Center's new projector app, which is presentation software built for the iPad. So let's see how this works. So I'm gonna click on projector and it's gonna pull up Planning Center Projector. And once it gets started, you'll not notice that the screen stays the same here, but if I go over here and I click on a slide, you'll see that we go full screen on our output, but our iPad is set to something totally different. We can swipe back and forth, um, so we can you know throw different graphics up here, and we can go through and like say we wanna go live with that, or go live with that. So we can you know, throw different graphics up and have our backgrounds and all of that stuff right from our iPad. So this is a cool way to utilize the new Planning Center projector app without having to buy an Apple TV. And like I said before, another way you can utilize this is you can actually have multiple different iPads or iPhones show up on this screen. So we can actually have you know, two different iPhones pull up a game of Angry Birds or something like that, and we can show them playing head to head um, on the screen. So this is a great way to have your students maybe playing games in front of everyone so everyone can see, but they're down there just playing their little devices and it's a cool way to do a head to head combat that way. Now the other thing, and a friend, um, Steve Stone, actually posted on his website 12 different uh, reasons why every youth ministry should have an Apple TV. Now you can see here, you know, you have ideas like Keynote, you can play games like I said before, show YouTube videos, do a digital whiteboard, I'll show you how we can do that in a second, you know, show Bible apps, use a stage camera, a lot of different ideas, and again, you don't have to have an Apple TV if you're using these different applications. So let's show you how to use um, this idea for a digital whiteboard. So I'm using, I'm going to use the paper app here, I'm going to click on that, we're going to go to sketches, and then we can click into a page here. I'm just going to grab like my pat black pen tool here and we can just like write Brad or hello, you know, and then we could maybe grab our paint tool and we could like do some watercolor paints and get some coolness going on here. 
Who knows? So that's one way you can use your iPad as a digital whiteboard. Now, um, that just kind of scratches the surface of what's possible with this. I'm sure you guys have utilized this or are going to utilize it, and I'd love to hear those ideas, and we can share them with everyone. And the best place to do that is to leave a comment by the show notes at cmd.tv slash 138. So you can leave a comment there, and that would be a way for everybody to find that. So you can uh, find those comments there, as well as if you want to find links to the different different applications or apps for the iPad or you know the website with all those different ideas you can find those all in the show notes now if you're not a subscriber I want to encourage you guys to subscribe to our feeds on Vimeo or YouTube as well as our website feeds and as always we're on iTunes and Miro and all the different RSS aggregators and you can find all of that at cmd.tv slash subscribe so make sure to check that out and subscribe and when you're at the website make sure to check out all the other great content Content. There's tons of content being posted uh, daily and weekly, inspiration and freebies and articles, so make sure you guys are checking all of that stuff out. Well, that's all for me and my favorite bobbleheaded friends, so we're saying see you later.